Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid Journey version 5 tutorial. On this one, I'm going to show you how to take sketches like these two at the top here and then turn them into f photographs. Literally, they look so photorealistic that you'd have a hard time convincing me that these were not taken by really high-end photographers or cameras. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. So here's the first image by Messi. Here's a Messi image and then here's a Ronaldo. These are both drawings. And they're sketches, basically. And then let's just take a look at the kind of stuff we got. Like this one's 98% of the way there. This one here is extremely realistic. I mean, this is just crazy stuff. Here's a group of four that I got from one generation. And three of them are usable. This top left one's a little bit rough, but not so bad. And I'll just keep going through them quickly here so you can see them. I mean, this is crazy. And these are not photos. These are AI generated. So there's just a few examples off the top of my head here. I'm going to show you Messi here. These are also AI generated. You can tell because his ears are a little bit too sharp. But uh, here we go. Let's just take a quick look here. Like Messi, Messi, Messi. These just look like photos. And yet none of them are. How the heck did I do it? Well, that's the good part. We're going to show you. I'm going to show you the prompts. I'm going to show you the techniques and everything. And before I do that, I'll just scroll through this thing here. And I'm going to show you. I've been doing this for like eight hours today and I've had so many mistakes and misses and I think I finally narrowed it down to something that's going to work um, most of the time. So here we go. All right, keep in mind version 5 is brand new so this may change this might change in the future. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go imagine forward slash imagine and then for this one here I'll do this one here. I'm going to put the prompts in the description. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in here so you can see it. And basically it is forward slash imagine and then the image. And then you'll see here there's the image. And then at the end of the image, you're going to see colon colon five. Basically, I'm giving it a text weight. So if I was to go over here and take a look over here, I'm giving it basically a prompt weight of five. Now, it's not clear if that works properly with images right now, but it has been impacting my results. So I'm just going to leave that in there. And then this one is going to say photographed with a Canon DSLR. Of course, you can make it a Nikon or whatever you use, a Hasselblad or whatever. Soft lighting, DOF, which means depth of field, uplit, 35 millimeter lens, and then cru uh, cru crucially, part of me, dash dash IW space 2.0, which means dash dash, which means image weight 2. So we're assigning an image weight of two. When I hit enter, this is now going to go ahead and do that. And you'll see here, if I if I, I log in, if I click this link while I'm waiting, it takes me to nothing. It takes me to a dead end. But watch this. If I just get rid of this colon colon five, this is the actual image that it's using as its source. So there's no way that this isn't going to work because this or this isn't this image because it is using that sketch as its source. When I come back here, you'll see here that it's slowly forming. And you can already see that Messi's coming out here. So let's go ahead and look at the other prompt that I've got here. So we've done that one here. This one here is, what is this one? Annie Leibovitz. Okay, yes. So the other thing, I'm going to take the second prompt. And again, I'll put it in the description below. I mean, look at this. You can already tell this is going to work. I'm going to go forward slash imagine. I'm going to copy and paste that in. And then basically what it is, is this is a picture or of Ronaldo. You can even see it says Ronaldo J JPEG. And then you can see it has colon, colon, five in it as well. So we're giving it a prompt weight of five. And then instead of having the, the camera and the lighting and all that stuff described, we have photographed by Annie Leibovitz. She's a very famous photographer. And then I just give it a little more stuff like soft lighting, depth of field, up light. 35 millimeter lens, etc. And then very crucially, dash dash IW space 2.0, which again is image weight. Image weights are back in version 5 and they work fantastically. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on that. And while I do that, let's see what we got here. So I'm going to click on this. And I mean, if I'm being honest, these are all amazing images. These are just friggin' fantastic. So what would I do? I would, of course, upscale or up sample one or upscale one. Oops, don't want to do that. Upscale two. These are all just amazing. So there you go. This was the first prompt, and this is the result it gave me. And keep in mind that, again, when I click on this button here, when I get rid of the dash, da the colon, colon five at the end, you can tell that this is using this as the image prompt. So it is using this as the sketch because it's actually in the prompt. So let's go back to what we've got cooking here with uh, Ronaldo, the other one. Uh, Ronaldo, again, a little different, but you'll see here it's photographed by Annie Leibovitz. Now, if I was to go over here and I'll put a link to this as well, 
I'm at midlibrary.io, and then on this here, you'll see that they've got photographers, and one of the photographers is Annie Leibovitz, and these are just some of her styles here. So um, here she is, you know, they've got really realistic styles, lots of shadows, and again, I'll link this here, so if you were to click on photographers, you can go through all of these different photographers, there's just hundreds of them here, and you can try them out. Van Lee Burke, that looks pretty interesting. Um, anyways, let's go back here. It's done, it's at 100%. Let's click on it and see what we got. Okay, oh, it's slowly finishing here. Okay, there it is, it's done. All right, let's go back to it, where did it go? There it is, and then presto, this first one is fantastic. The second one is pretty damn good. The third one is amazing. The fourth one is amazing. This is how you take drawing and sketches to photography. Real deal stuff, guys. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them. I will get back to them all. Thanks for watching.